it was an easy choice, frankly. I mean, I, as a beneficiary of Catholic education myself, I wanted them to, to enjoy the same benefits. Thanks for coming and talking with us today, Bill. Can you share with us how you discovered Catholic education? I had been a public school student through fifth grade when my parents, who themselves um, had been the beneficiaries of a parochial school education, transferred me and my brother uh, to a local parochial school. So I was a parochial school student for grades six, seven, and eight. And upon the conclusion of middle school, I applied to a diocesan high school. So my, my, my own background is in, in Catholic schools. So in your short period of time here at Delenn, what has been your experience so far? In the course of my Zoom calls with members of faculty this past spring, uh, I learned that a sense of legacy is one of the defining hallmarks of Delenn Catholic. I, I frankly, I didn't know what that meant, uh, but the past several months have really impressed upon me uh, the fact that the school is in fact a legacy for so many families. Uh, that's one of the defining features, although not the exclusive feature of, of the school. Uh, I mean, the, the school, of course, uh, is an extension of the diocesan church. It's equipping its students for life. Uh, we prepare students for the, the rigors of work in the future, as well as the, uh, the challenges of additional studies after graduation. Why did you choose to enroll all three of your children in Catholic education? Well, my oldest is a student at the Lone Catholic. She is a freshman. Um, and her younger siblings, Christopher and Catherine, are students at St. Teresa of Calcutta School uh, here in town. It was, it was an easy choice, frankly. I mean, I, as a beneficiary of Catholic education myself, I wanted them to, to enjoy the same benefits. And I think it's important that children hear uh, the gospel. I mean, ideally, of course, I'm, I'm of Sunday worship and at home, but to have it reinforced uh, in the educational environments in which they find themselves. Now that, that's a sine qua non for, for me and my wife. That we want to raise our children, not only for time, but for eternity.